and happiness and rainbows and sunshines. All right, so there we have this thing. We're going to make it on transparent. So now we've kind of got this lens flare. And it's a little out of place because it's a bright blue lens flare. And all the light around us is white, so we don't really want this. What is it? Ew. Ew what? Rainbows and sunshine. Whatever. Um, presets. I don't know. Let's just choose, like... What was the one I used all of the time? This one, and we're going to change the global color to white. And then it's a little too bright. Center position. I don't like this preset. Hmm, let's try offline. Did I go offline? Apparently there's some stream issues. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that looks really nice and obnoxious. Let's use this one. Whoa. Yeah, I'm using that one. This is going to look awful. Yes. I'm a terrible person. Actually, there we go. That kind of looks, looks kind of nice. Where's the... Okay. Alright, so now we basically got this lens flare, but the thing is, the whole stage is moving, we need the lens flare to move. So we've got to keyframe this lens flare. Um, so I'm gonna... Too bright? No, I think I have lag. I, I would not be surprised if I have lag, I'm sorry. And there's nothing I can do about it. So keyframe there. Now, by this point, when the camera's moved, the lens flare is most likely over here. This probably actually isn't gonna look very good. There we go. And the lens flare is moving with the stage now. It moved the other way. Would it move the other way? <laughs> oh, no, I was just scrolling backwards. I don't know. Eh. Okay, so yeah, um, there's a lens flare. Now, I guess we'll just keep going until my computer gets mad at me. Particle. Now it's time for particles. People love particles. Whoops, that is the wrong button. Okay, we're going to go into Good, better be moving the right way. Now we're going to load up some nice little particles because everyone loves those. Whoops. Right in there. Okay, so yeah, particles. And we're going to get an animation preset because I'm too lazy. And we're going to get, um, no, 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 no. Should I just make it rain? No, it's not going to make it rain. That's dumb. I'm actually going to turn off the lens flare layer real quick. That's not lens flare layer. That's not lens flare layer. Just going to turn it off so my computer has to calculate less. How to make Miku static -y. I was going to do that eventually after the particles, because everyone always gets mad when you don't show them how to do particles. Where's the one I used in one video? Okay. Particle... Site... I hate it when it does that. Oh dear god. Emitter size, why? Alright, just gonna do another quick preview. The lens flare isn't gonna be in there. I mean, the more stuff you have, the longer it takes to render. And it can get pretty bad. Actually, you know what? I'll turn off the motion blur. 
Where is I can't wait till After Effects CS6 comes out. This 32-bit bullshit's pissing me off. Uh, no one noticed After Effects is clearly having some issues right now. Not responding. I like that, George. After Effects isn't responding. Kill me. Make sure, okay, what's hanging up? I blame 32-bit computing. Joy. The viewer count goes down. I love it. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. I love it. It's great. Fucking great. Josh, if you're on the stream right now, Macs are still not better than PCs. I don't care what you say. Alright, speed run. There's gotta be some sort of virus or something swimming around on my computer right now. It should not be this slow.
All right, there, back, done, boom, rebuilt. Anyway, let's click this button. Okay, what were we going over? All right, so yeah, particles, they would have worked if it didn't crash. Um, yeah, perfect, awesome, amazing. I am so ecstatic. Anyway, the question was asked how to do that static effect. All right. Okay, so basically we're going to create, what is that? A adjustment layer. And we're going to go down to animation presets. If you have the Twitch plugin, we're going to go to Twitch and then choose the color tear and transition. And boom, there it is. And when we render, <laughs> and then if we put it in again, it would affects Twitch amount. If we keyframe the amount to zero, and then the next frame. 100, go a couple frames forward, a couple more, and then we want to keyframe that back down to zero, so now instead of it just starting out with a twitch, we can add one. Now, if you're wondering, we can also apply this effect to just Miku instead of the whole scene. Whoa. She's all over the place. A little bit strong. Notice how I am basically, basically what I'm right now, I'm doing, I'm adjusting the amount. The amount is how much it does this which effect if it's set to like a hundred it actually this is a hundred if i set it to like 20 it'll be much less if i set it to 2000 just don't set it to 2000 actually no it is percent never mind <laughs> wait i think yeah no yeah i can set it to a thousand keyframe in zero And then we want the amount to be, I don't know, 30. A lot less intense. And that is basically how I did most of the transitions in... in the video. Now what I would really like to do that I don't think I can do it right now is actually open up a project file from the video. The only problem is I have to move a lot of files off of my computer so that I have room for more stuff. Um, so I guess what I could do is I could try to see if I actually still have the files on here. I'm not sure I do. Yes. Be safe. Um, we want to go to where 